Hello, I'm Butcher Shimada from Homo Shimada channel. Do you guys wonder how the yakiniku sauce is made? We've been hiding this as a secret recipe, but I'm gonna show you how to make an original yakiniku sauce today. I hope this will help you enjoy yakiniku time at home. So let's get started. Here are the ingredients. First, put kelp in the water to make soup stock. Cut ingredients. First, I will peel off garlic. This is domestic garlic. If the shoots are green, remove them. Garlic is somehow expensive these days in Japan. We as Yakiniku restaurant use a lot of garlic, so this can be a serious problem. Here is the peeled garlic. See, it's a lot. Next, peel and cut the ginger. Use the skin to neutralize the smell of meat later, so there is no waste. Don't throw it away. Next, peel the apple and cut it. When peeling an apple, I like trying to peel it off without breaking it. Uh-oh, I failed. The cut apples look like this. Next, peel off the banana and cut it. Isn't it surprising that the sauce contains bananas? Then, cut the lemon into slices. The flavor of this lemon is important, isn't it? Finally, cut the green onions. We only use the outside of the white part. The inside can be used for toppings or condiments. Cut the white part into stripes. Now everything seems ready. Next, let's prepare the seasonings. Here is sugar. We use white sugar. We use a lot. Umami seasonings to adjust the taste. Prepare mirin. So we have everything on the kitchen table. Put all the ingredients in the food processor. First, make the garlic finer. Add mirin here to help the process. Mix a couple times to make it as fine as possible. After mixing, put it in the container. Grind ginger in the same way. Add soy sauce to mix well. Ginger has more fiber and it's difficult to make it fine. So you need to be patient. Next, make the apple finer in the same way. Many restaurants use apples for the yakiniku sauce. The sauce sold at the supermarket often contains apples as well. In the end, make banana paste. Add soy sauce to the food processor to make sure to remove everything. After adding all the ingredients, add more soy sauce. It's getting more and more like our original soy sauce. Add sugar and mix well. Since it tends to become clumpy, do not add all the sugar at once. Next, add MSG umami seasonings and and mix well. Then, add the soup stock to adjust the thickness of the sauce. Put the cut lemon in the net, squeeze it lightly, and put it inside. Put the cut green onion in the net and knead it well to make it fragrant. Then, put in the sauce. Mix well to complete the sauce. It looks very good. This is a great sauce for marinade as well. We will continue to post more fun videos for Yakiniku fans, so please looking forward to it. We are running a homo yakiniku restaurant called Homo Shimada in Maebashi City, Guma, Japan. There are so many good restaurants in Maebashi area, so please come and visit our city one day. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a like. Ciao!